Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 6th to the 7th, okay? So this is a daily energy that I'm picking up on. I don't know who it's for. It may not be for you. Don't try to make it be yours. This is not a private reading, okay? This is just the energy that I am picking up on today. It's going to be for whoever needs it the most. That's the way it goes with these readings, right? It's for whoever is looking for a real answer the most. You know, been thinking about it. Um, that kind of thing. time to let go of the past hurts somebody's been reluctant to move on right i mean the six of swords resisting a transition holding on to their security their abundance you know there's an ability to move to someplace new something place more stable and secure but forgiveness and letting go of something is needed to move there see I mean, you have to you have to forgive and let go, forgive and leave those past hurt behind. Those past hurts. You have to make that decision to do so. The decision you have to make the decision to unblock the truth. You know, to bring the abundance back that you that you deeply desire. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. They have. Oh my, a lot of strength, right? I mean, this is a card of strength. Perseverance. Something is going to happen pretty quickly. You may receive some communication from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody, but... It looks as though there's a there's a pretty fast moving energy here. Maybe you're holding out for what you're holding out for something obviously. It's like you're not quite ready to give up something. You know, maybe you've been determined to hold your ground to prove something. Oh, I got, it got exactly what we were looking for. And look at this. We got the Three of Swords twice. In this deck, we have a couple of duplicates, okay? So, whoops. Wow. Wow. So. Oh, my goodness. On the bottom, we have the Ace of Cups. So, this is in regards to love, right? Okay, this is... A new opportunity for love. But you have to take it, right? You have to stop deceiving yourself. No shit, right? You, it's in your hands. You have to stop letting your suffering that you're holding on to hold you back. It's, it's great that we have uh, one upright and one reversed for the Three of Swords. It really is. Because you have the opportunity to let go of those past hurts. You can do it. But you're, somebody is reluctant to do so. Maybe they're trying to protect themselves, right? You have the ability to break free from this deception. You have been deceived by another person. And now you're letting your thoughts of, oh, it will happen again, hold you back. It's protecting yourself. Somebody is trying to protect themselves from suffering because they've suffered in the past. But eights, you know, the eights are take back your power. The time is now. We talked about the time is now yesterday. The time is now to make that move that you have been neglecting to make. Yeah, 
you know, you've been wounded. This is the wounded warrior, and I can see that you've been wounded, but it's time to be practical here. If you want this ultimate happiness, you want this happily ever after, you're going to have to make a move. Because there's an opportunity for extreme abundance here. Extreme. But you have to stop deceiving yourself over the past deception and take that blindfold off. Stop blocking the truth that you know inside of you. It's basically a self-protection tactic, right? It is. Somebody has been delaying the inevitable... Staying where, you know, protecting themselves. There's no shit protecting themselves of getting hurt again. But it's time to let, let your guard down. Let it down. Like I said, this suffering has brought true growth. We're going to get some clarifiers here. This is in regards to love. There's a new opportunity to open your heart and go to a better place. There's a new start in love if somebody takes action. Somebody has been neglecting to take action and the time is now to be mature enough to accept responsibility and to let go of the past hurts. You know, can you let go of the past hurts? Can you? Because that's what this is about. There's a lot of hurt here. A lot of hurt. With two, three of swords and ten cards. I mean, come on now. And the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Swords, there's a lot of hurt. And here we are, this is the Wounded Warrior. Yes, you've been wounded, but this woundedness has taught you strength, right? Somebody is, is on the edge, on the edge. Of fear. You know, it's about time to step out of it. Step out of that of that bubble that you've kept yourself in. Somebody has been watching another person. Wanting to make a move. Afraid to. Trying to come up with the best plan. How am I going to do this? Right now, they're in observation mode. And they're probably upset with what they're seeing. This isn't making me happy. It's not making me happy seeing that probably the other person is letting go. Somebody's not following their intuition. Closing their heart off to love. Throwing away a golden opportunity. A solid, stable opportunity. Letting it slip away. Because of past deception. I, I'm going to pretend, I'm going to protect myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delay this new beginning because I'm too scared. You really need to think about this. Is that the wisest thing to do? Is it wise for you to stay stuck where you're at because of hurt? Or do you have the strength to let those past hurts go? And open your heart again. Why would you shut your heart down 
and not move on to a better place when you have that opportunity waiting for you. Why? You're going to let the other person still have control? We have Aries Leo Sagittarius here. Could be, this is just, I'm just telling you who it is. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We're all here. We've all been here, right? We all have. Somebody is lacking the ambition and the confidence. To act in a mature manner and take the practical approach. When they really, 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 really want happiness. I want happiness. I know this is what I want. But they're, they're undecided, right? I think that I will just walk away. Because I'm unable to control my emotions at this time. Now, isn't this the sign of Pisces right here in this thing? <clears throat> Throwing away a golden opportunity, blocking the truth, closing off their heart, not listening to, somebody's not listening to their intuition, <clears throat> refusing to move in the direction that they need to move in. Immature. Immature. We're dealing with an immature individual. Definitely immature. Individual that needs to grow up and be wise here. Somebody's in the process of trying to decide, what should I do? Should I go back? Should I go back or should I walk away? What should I do? Somebody is really going through the process of confusion. I'm really confused right now. I want this happiness. I'm trying to figure out what is the best decision to make. And I really feel like it's a man. And I know a lot of you guys don't, girls, don't want to hear this. But where are the women in this reading? I know that other readers want to spin it, and you do too, but it looks to me like there is a man here that is in the process of making a decision, and he is undecided as to what choice he wants to make. It looks like he has an opportunity for two paths, and he doesn't know what to do. But he's not feeling emotionally fulfilled where he's at. And he may want to come back to where he or go in a new direction. But he's going to have to let his guard down and let go of those past wounds to do so. He's probably in denial about a woman. Because there's been deception. So, yeah. There's some denial here. It's like, you know, if... if uh, and maybe he's been blocked by this woman. I don't know. We have these blockages here. So anyway, you know, I'm going to have to deal with this. I'm going to have to communicate with the eight of wands under there. I'm going to have to communicate. I'm going to have to make a move. And he's very undecided. We have a man here that's undecided about... What path he needs to take? What path is going to bring him the extreme happiness and the abundance? And he may be wanting to go back home. He wants to go back home. That's a home. But his past wounds are hindering him from doing so. But he's on the verge of making that move. It's like he's so close, so, so, so close to dropping, you know, to dropping that that grudge perhaps or that stance or that wounded warrior mentality is really close because he's just about ready to go he is 
There's been too much. Wherever he's at now, it's like we're not compatible. It's incompatibility. Wherever you're, he is at right now, he, it's not compatible. And he knows it. And he's trying to come up with a new plan on how he's going to get back his stability, security. But in order to do that, he's going to have to be mature instead of immature. Be a man. Instead of a child. No offense to you men, but it takes strength to be a man. Children can't communicate well. They don't have the skills. Men can. They're supposed to be able to anyway. Anyway, um, there's been some deception here. There's been some lies. And somebody does want to go back. If you look, he wants to go back. Somebody wants to go back. And if you see these, home. I want to go home. But in order to do so, they're going to have to accept responsibility for their actions. And that's very mature. One more card. Lacking confidence. Yep. We, and it's a man that's lacking confidence. Afraid that, you know, I will be rejected. This man has to make make the wisest decision, and he's probably in the process of doing so. I'm trying to decide what is going to be the best option for me, but all, all in all, I just, I just want to go back home. I want to find my stability. I want to find my extreme happiness. Right now, he's, he's in decision-making mode. We talked about this a couple days ago, and he's still there. He has to make a choice in re to regards to his stability. You know, do I want this opportunity or not? I just, I want to know. I want to know. He's thinking about moving on. He's thinking about going back. <clears throat> he can't move on. He's thinking about going back. Mm. Palace of Wands. Yeah, he wants to go home. Where it's stable. He wants to go back home. Where there's growth. Where there's room for growth. There's room for passion. There's room for... Happiness. of cups. It's like he's not seeing it though. His emotions are getting the best of him. He needs to have faith. This man needs to have faith. This man needs to believe. He needs to trust. He needs to follow his intuition. There's an opportunity, and there's, there's commitment here. There's room for commitment here. But you're going to have to have faith and trust. And he's, and part of the issue is commitment. With the Four of Wands and this card, it's like, yeah, I'm going to need to fully commit if I go back to this situation. And right now, he's trying to think, he's really, 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 really thinking about it. He's probably going through a period of introspection, trying to decide what route to take. And he has been holding on to protecting himself for a long time. But it's time to take that leap of faith and follow your intuition. Follow your gut, mister. Whoever it is, whatever man that is watching this, follow your gut.
This is the Taurus, by the way. Anyway, um, we're going to get an oracle card. For all you women that want to say this is you, sorry. You don't have to like me. You may be the woman that this man is, is trying to deny. Okay? He's trying to deny the truth of us. That's, that is it. He's trying to deny his true feelings. So you may be that woman. But rest assured that he is thinking about you. Heavily. And he's trying to come up with a plan as to how he can make this successful. Same story. It wasn't successful in the past. There was too many arguments. And now he, you know, he's undecided. There's the arguments. And he probably has two options. Obviously he does. Does he come back or not, right? He's going to have to be mature in this situation and speak up instead of just watching behind the scenes. But in order to make his decision, he has to observe, right? So you got to give him credit for that. So he is doing the right thing, even though you may not feel like he is. You know, you have to look at the situation from behind the scenes to make your decision. It's just the way it is. That's a fact, okay? So it looks like he's wanting to go back home and he's in the process of deciding. I don't see him making the decision as of yet. I don't. Let's get an oracle card and see what comes up. I'd like to know if he's going to make that decision. That would be nice. I'd like to know. But it looks like his emotions are getting the best of him. Okay, it does. It looks like his emotions are getting the best of him. And I hate it when that happens, but this just jumped out. It was in the middle of the deck. And you know when they jump, I have to take them. I'm not that reader. It puts it back in the deck. Beginning a new cycle. I believe whatever has happened is meant to happen. I'm not going to put it back in the deck. I don't believe in that shit. Unless it's like four or five cards, then maybe. But even then, I don't go for it. It makes me flinch when I see that. First light. Beginning a new cycle. A new day has begun in your life. You are, at the, you are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wape the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. You remember we started out with letting go of the past hurts? That's what this is about. Let go of the, the past, the wounded warrior mentality. That's what this is. There's still an opportunity for you to go back home. But you're going to have to release the past. The past hurts. The traveler faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle has begun. New beginnings, and here was, we got light as well, are often fraught with the unknown. Yet the sacred traveler has observed on the extended journey. He has observed. We, oh, that's funny. We talked about that. That life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so they can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There's a time to end and there's a time to begin. In your life, it's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. So this reading is for the men.
There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. That's going to bring you abundance, stability, happiness. You're just going to have to find your confidence to go in that direction. Wherever you're at right now, there's lack of compatibility. It's not compatible. That's what this card is. And you have somebody that's better suited for you. A perfect match that you're hindering being together with because you're with the wrong one. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you that. That's what this is. It's a false contract. You're going to have to find your strength to move in a new direction because it's time for you to begin a new cycle. Right now your heart isn't being fulfilled at home and there's an opportunity to have it fulfilled but it's in your hands. It's time to be practical responsible and wise that's what he is this is a man of integrity wherever you're at there's no victory and success there's no peace and harmony I mean I can't pretend that there is The mature thing to do is to take action because underneath this is the Eight of Wands. Take action. Right now. Right now. Good luck.